The United States has recently sent a strong signal of support for the defense of the Philippines by offering assistance in the form of three A-29 Super Tucano aircraft and 18 retired A-10 Warthog units. This offer presents a significant opportunity for the Philippine Air Force to enhance its defense capabilities without the burden of acquisition costs. This offer demonstrates the United States' commitment to strengthening defense ties with the Philippines and assisting in enhancing the country's military capabilities. In the coming months, it is expected that both nations will engage in further discussions to detail the requirements and technical as well as logistical availability related to the transfer of these aircraft. This offer presents a golden opportunity for the Philippines to optimize its air and maritime defense by leveraging proven quality aircraft, while carefully considering logistical aspects and strategic national needs. In the ever-evolving landscape of global geopolitics, nations constantly seek to bolster their defense capabilities to maintain sovereignty and address emerging threats. The Philippines, amidst a flourishing defense partnership with the United States, finds itself at the cusp of a potential paradigm shift in its air power dynamics. This shift is centered around the iconic Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog. The A-10 Warthog has been a constant presence in the Philippine skies, participating in various military exercises with the United States Armed Forces. Renowned for its lethal ground attack and close air support capabilities, the Warthog boasts the fearsome 30mm Gao Avenger rotary cannon, a weapon that poses a significant threat to ground and armored units. However, the aircraft's vulnerability in the face of total air superiority and sophisticated anti-air units raises critical questions about its strategic utility. Recent months have witnessed a formal inquiry from the Philippines regarding the acquisition of A-10 Warthogs. It is essential to emphasize that an inquiry does not necessarily translate to a definitive intention for acquisition. Instead, it reflects the government's commitment to thorough information gathering, a critical step in the decision-making process. In this light, the Philippines seeks clarity on the potential benefits, drawbacks, and strategic implications of introducing the Warthog into its Air Force inventory. While the A-10 Warthog is under consideration, the Philippines also looks towards a strategic alternative, the A-29 Super Tucano. Despite being a prop-driven aircraft, the Super Tucano has proven its mettle as a close air support platform. The aircraft's deployment of guided and unguided munitions, coupled with its versatility, positions it as a viable contender for the Philippine Air Force's requirements. Moreover, the familiarity with the Super Tucano reduces the logistical challenges associated with introducing a new aircraft into service. One of the critical considerations in the Philippines' defense strategy is the need for long-range anti-ship capabilities. The A-29 Super Tucano offers a promising solution, especially with discussions of certifying the aircraft to deploy advanced munitions like the Sea Breaker, developed by Rafael. This integration provides the Philippine Air Force with a versatile asset capable of addressing maritime threats, aligning with the nation's strategic interests in securing its maritime borders. The decision to introduce a new aircraft into the Air Force inventory is not only about enhancing capabilities but also about managing logistical complexities. Each aircraft type brings with it a unique set of requirements in terms of spares, munitions, maintenance, and manpower. The Philippines, cognizant of these challenges, may weigh the logistical trail associated with the A-10 Warthog against the streamlined operations afforded by the A-29 Super Tucano. The Philippine Air Force's familiarity with the A-29 Super Tucano is a significant advantage. 
Already in service, the Super Tucano has proven its effectiveness, and an expansion of the fleet aligns with a seamless integration into existing operational frameworks. This familiarity translates to quicker adaptability, reduced training overheads, and a more efficient deployment of resources.